Welcome to our first episode of Motorcycle Revival. Um, this uh, this series, we're going to try to rebuild a bike that uh, belongs to a friend of mine. He um, he got it for a really good deal. Some say it's a little too good to be true. And it's one of those ads you, you always want to say, like, you know what, May maybe this is the one. This is Maybe this is the, that perfect ad that there's nothing wrong with it, and, and I'm going to go for it. Well... I don't really think this is one of those bikes. Let's start with some facts. Um, so I have seen this bike before, and it's my first time I finally got it in my garage. Uh, let's start with my favorite modification on this bike. You see this upgraded lightweight foot peg? It's pretty nice. I think it's quarter 20. It's a it's standard bolt. With, with some shoe goo, I think it's for traction and, and low weight. Um, the whole belly pan is gone. That's, that's missing. Got some, got some missing parts there. Got some nice racing scratches. Um, got some zip ties holding this up. Um, going around here, looks like the, the frame sliders were, were used, you know, used frame sliders. Got some missing panels here. Got um, some some movement there. Uh, that's that's that that's been bored out, you know, because who needs that flathead screwdriver, right? And um, this zip tie. I, I was wondering what the zip tie did, but I found out um, the zip tie when you pull it. When you pull the zip tie, that's what opens this. Look at that little 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 zip tie. So locked, pull the zip tie. Yeah, pretty nice. Got some Rockstar stickers. So we definitely have ourselves um, a series here. I'll be spending the next few episodes trying to get this bike started, trying to get it fully running, and uh, and I hope you guys stick around because our goal is to hit the road, hit some canyons with this beautiful bike. I've my first, my very first bike was a Ninja 250, and I've always stopped. I've always really liked these bikes. So I'm gonna see. If we can get it running for my for a good friend of mine and see if she can be on the road. So every time I get a bike in my garage that doesn't run, there's always a good checklist that I like to go through. Um, we always have to check the battery, making sure that's good. Electronically, we want to make sure the bike is perfectly good. So today, I think I'm going to see uh, what the battery, how the battery is, what it does. Is it dead? Is it flat? I'm trying to find the battery right now. And so we have this battery that came along with the bike. We'll see if this is charged and ready to go. I'm gonna put it on the charger right now and um, and just take a look. Um, our main goal here is just to get this bike rideable. So a good friend of mine, this is his his bike. He bought it because his car is broken down. Um, his, his car is breaking down and this was gonna be his daily driver. So we're gonna be a good friend and get it running for him, see what it needs, but I wanna make sure it's safe to the best degree a ZX6R can be safe, and just kind of go through it, making sure everything is okay, do some maintenance stuff, uh, see if we can tighten up some of the pieces, but let's take a look at how bad it is. So I can already tell um, some of these panels are hardly on. I'm a big fan of putting the bolts right back where I found them. So I know I don't end up with a pile of bolts afterwards and not knowing where any of the parts go. Oh man, we have our first strip bolt. This thing is just not budging, but look. <laughs> you gotta love these bikes. Okay. So this bolt is stripped, so the previous owner put a crack in here so you can slip it in and out. I honestly thought we were gonna have a problem. It's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta like wrench this out, but nope, I just had to use this quick access. So this is kind of tricky. Um, to get a battery in a Ninja 630, uh, 636, you gotta kind of have to like lift this tank 
while you um, put the battery in, tighten all the bolts, but without like the tank hitting anything. It's kind of, and of course the tank's, gas tank's full, so you know what, maybe I should drain that first. So here's where I'm at, guys. I got a gas tank full of fuel. Um, I got one key on this bike that's like already bent, so I definitely don't want to like hurt it anymore because um, I can feel it really stress in here. My buddy says you should be able to open it because I definitely don't want to lose that ignition. So I'm going to try a screwdriver and go at it East LA style. <laughs> um, it definitely worked. This whole thing here is um, completely shot and East LA style works. And um, I love rebuilding motorcycles, especially to like people that want to get into it. So my, this buddy of mine he used to be my neighbor, and he used to come in here all the time talking about how he wants to get a bike one day, and he finally got it with this thing. He used to ride when he was a kid. So this is his first first motorcycle, motorcycle number one, and this is the beast he ends up getting which is just a monster of a bite. There's still more gas. So there's always a discussion of what kind of first bike you should get. And he decided to pick this. And the more I ride, the more I realize, you know, people will ride whatever they want. You can advise him to get a, a you can advise people to get a smaller bike, lower displacement, get started but you know a lot of people make it a lot of people do just fine starting on 600 so we'll see this is by far the fastest thing in my garage and I think that might be it okay I think that's all I can get this so the gas is finally out, we have a little bit more space. Well, it's just perfect. I got my positive and my negative terminal, so this should be easy peasy. You guys see this? This, this? this motorcycle turns on. What is this? <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Um, I've never seen this before on, on any motorcycle, but I'm holding the key. And that's on. And that's... What? Is this bike haunted? I think I have evil spirits in this bike. Got it. I, I'm holding the key. Can I start this? I'm holding the key. And I'm, and I'm cranking the bike. This is crazy. What is happening so the battery is gonna die because I have the key and it's just gonna stay on and my headlight is on and I have the key and the bike's on and I have a key so how do I how do I turn this off how do I not kill the battery Let's just recap this right now. I have the key in my hand and the battery positive terminal is connected to the battery positive wire. And I'm gonna put this bolt 
where the negative would be and the bike turns on. The bike turns on as if I put the key on in the on position. It can even crank. I'm still holding the key. I, I hear the fuel system kick on, I, the gauges turn on, the headlight turns on. And I'm holding the key. There's nothing in here. This is not a magic trick. This is really confusing. What is it? So this means that 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 switch does nothing. I think. Um I'm really confused.